Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Gino Otsuka. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened up a photograph of myself. And the first thing I'm going to do is go Image Adjustments Hue Saturation and bring up the saturation to make my image more colourful. And I'm also going to go Image Adjustments Brightness and Contrast and just bring up the contrast and bring down the brightness a little bit and click OK. Right, now we need to start adding the kind of bubbling effect. And because I thought the bubbling looked like water bubbling, I've gone for bubbling water as my Google search and I found these images. And I'm just using the lasso select tool just to kind of select a rough area of bubbles. And I'm going to now press Control C to copy that and then go back to my photo, press Control V to paste those bubbles in. And I'm just going to use these bubbles to kind of surround the area of my face that I want to be showing. So I'm using the arrow tool just to rotate and resize. And then I'm going to right click on that layer and click duplicate layer so I get another set of bubbles and then again duplicate that layer and I'm going to just keep doing that and stretch these so that they're not quite so obviously the same set of bubbles okay duplicate layer again and rotate to get It where I want it to be and then one last duplicate layer and I'm going to put these ones down the bottom just underneath my mouth okay and now I'm going to another photo of bubbles that I found on Google and using the lasso select tool to select around these you want to find more than one photo of bubbles so that you have more of a selection going on on your image. Okay, then Control C to copy that selection and then Control V to paste that in. And you're going to do exactly the same again. Just choose places where you want these bubbles to go and then duplicate the layer rotate, stretch, completely up to you. And it's just a case of trying to get a variety of bubbles, variety of kind of effect around your face. Okay, right, one more up here, I think. And just rotate that so it looks different. Mm, there will do. Good. Okay. And I'm just going to bring the opacity down on a couple of these. Just so they blend a little bit better with the bubbles below them. Don't worry about the colours not matching at the moment. That won't make any difference. Okay. Right now, last set of bubbles here. And I found these kind of bubbles on a transparent background, so I would just get the bubbles themselves. And I wanted these to be individual bubbles rather than the other photos where the bubbles were all as a group. So that this would add a different effect. So Control C to copy those, then back to this image and press Control V. And then you can use the arrow tool to just resize, rotate and position where you like and then same as the others duplicate those layers resize to your heart's content try not to um, stretch or squish these ones too much you want these bubbles to look circular so it's more just a case of resizing and rotating okay 
Once I've done that, I'm going to select all my bubble layers and right click and click Merge Layers. And that merges all the layers together. And then you want to go Image Adjustments Black and White and click OK. And that turns all of your bubbles black and white. Then go to the drop down menu above your layer and choose Overlay. And that kind of gives you this effect. And then you want to right click on the layer and duplicate it. And then right click on that layer and duplicate it again. And that makes the effect stronger each time. But on this top layer, I would suggest changing it up a bit and just run through these options until you get the thing that you think works best. So overlay is pretty good, but I think maybe pin light might be best for this. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. And now you're ready to kind of cut out the outer shape. So using the lasso select tool, just cut out where you want your kind of outer edge to be on your kind of piece. And then once you're happy with that mask, you then want to go select inverts so that you've selected everything else instead rather than the mask itself. And then on each layer, press delete, including the photo layer. And that gets rid of everything around it on every layer. Okay. Right, then on the top layer, I'm just going to go image adjustments color balance and I'm just going to make it a bit more yellowy and this is really about tweaking this now so that you're happy with the overall effect and I'm going to do the same on the photo layer image adjustments color balance and just make it a bit more yellow click OK all right now I think we're almost done just going to go to that top layer again, image adjustments, brightness, contrast. And I'll whip up the contrast just to make it a bit darker in places. That looks good. Click OK. And I really would like my bubbles to be a little bit more yellow, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to grab yellow on the color picker click OK and then I'm going to grab the paintbrush there it is make it a good size and I've got it at a kind of medium size and I've got the um, opacity right down quite low so I'm kind of gently blending in the yellow here rather than slapping yellow straight on gives me a little bit more control I know at the moment it's looking a little bit too yellow, but I can fix that afterwards. I'm just making sure I've got the yellow on there. Then I'm going to go to the drop down menu on that layer and I'm going to click multiply and you'll see how it kind of goes into the image more. Then I'm just going to go to image adjustments, hue, saturation. I'm just going to make that yellow a little bit more orangey so it blends a little bit better, just a tiny bit. Okay, that's better. Right now to give it a background, so new layer, drag that layer down to the bottom, grab white on the color picker, click OK, then go to the paint bucket and click on the background and that will turn it white. OK. And I think just a little bit more tweaking, image adjustments, color balance, and I'm just going to make it more yellow. Click OK. And that is the image done and dusted. I hope you find this tutorial helpful.